Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. The give to the fullback on the dive. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. The tackle made there by Tack McKinley. Here's second and ten. Cousins. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. 108 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half, cool down, and then come back out and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Ten yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. This is Smith with a grab. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Now they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Cook. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Dalvin Cook ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The pass there complete to Sutton. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now Wilson on first down. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Working with a second and four. Now Wilson. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. 
they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Yeah, and he'll manage to. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll keep it on the ground. This time it's Gordon. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 32. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Play action. It's Wilson. Under pressure, and he will be eight. And to Neil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright, and they will remain well, well behind. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 30-yard line. Cousins gives way to Cook to about the 26 here. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Down right around the 25. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Normally, when you see a short gain in the middle of a 3-4 defense, go ahead and pat the nose tackle on the back because he's holding things up and taking on extra blockers, which allows one of the inside linebackers to roam free and make the tackle. Got an open man finding Jefferson, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just cannot find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion. And now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Cousins on first down. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. A great effort there ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Vikings have now opened up a seven touchdown lead. Unbelievable. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. They'll go jet sweep here with Sutton. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. 
A gain of three, second down. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. He'll get this one to Patrick. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 41 yard line. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. 52 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Wilson, that's complete. It's Gordon. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 10 more there and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Javante Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Broncos are able to at least get one score back. Extra point from McManus is good. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On the move to his left. Got a man here, it's Wilson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33.